Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got this in the mail today. This is the Storybook Cosmetics Quill and Ink Liner, which I have been dying to try out. I ordered it as soon as it went on sale. I got the tracking information. I swear I feel like I got the tracking information a couple of weeks ago, and I might have, you know, maybe with the hurricane and everything, it just didn't get here when I thought it would get here, I don't know. But it arrived today, and so I just wanted to jump on and make a quick video and just use it on camera, see how it works, and let you guys see if it's worth the money. <laughs> um, oh, and before I get into the video, I did want to show you, um, I got this really awesome shirt. This is Texas Strong. Um, I got this off of, um, it's an Etsy site. The site is called Bash, Shop at Bash. I'll link it down below. Um, but the woman is donating all proceeds from this particular shirt to the JJ Watt Hurricane Relief Fund. And it comes in different colors and sizes. It's, it's kind of a unisex sizing, so I went kind of a, like a lighter, baggier sizing. But I love it. It's so cute. Texas Strong. <laughs> so that's a fun way to support uh, some hurricane relief and support Texas, especially if you're a fellow Texan. Um, I was going to film doing the quick little eyeshadow tutorial before using the liner and I got pretty much halfway into it and realized I didn't hit record. So I'm just going to tell you what I did. <laughs> so I did, I thought it would be a fun idea to use the Storybook Cosmetics um, Wizardry and Witchcraft eyeshadow palette. Uh, so I'll just tell you real quick what I used. Um, I basically just started out with charms as a base. Then I lightly worked broomstick through the crease, added spell book to the outer corner, again just very lightly. I kind of used a very light hand in general, I just wanted kind of a light wash of colors. And then I lightly put sorcerer over the top of that um, outer corner just to make it a little bit kind of a burgundy color. And then I wet my brush and used jinx all over the lid. And then I smoked out cloak underneath the lower lash line and used cauldron kind of just to accent that outer corner of the lower lash line. So simple, easy. I mean, if you actually want to see a tutorial on it, feel free, let me know and I will film one. But yeah, I wasn't going to start over after already <laughs> getting almost done with it. So this is why you're here. So let's just get into it. So this is the gorgeous tin that it comes in. Very beautiful. And then you open it up and you have the product inside. I mean, I will say Storybook Cosmetics, they are one of my favorite companies for packaging. I mean, it's, it's always just so thought out and beautiful and unique. So let's pull these pieces out. So you do get a little stand for your quill liner. This is the brush and it has a little protective cover over it. Let me pull that off. So this is what the brush tip looks like. So it's just a nice little thin liner brush. And this is what the quill portion, the little feather looks like. And then this is the stand. It has their little S for Storybook Cosmetics. It has some beautiful little like, filigree designing on it. And then, so it's just meant to go straight in like that. And there you go. You can have it on your table of probably move some stuff around and find a place to put it behind me because I just think that's so cute. I love it. And then the liner it's in this little container. It has a little charm. It has, oops, there it is, their S logo on the top. And then you unscrew it and it's just black gel liner. Okay, so I guess they figure that once they sent everything out, people were having some struggles with the liner. They are a wonderful company in terms of if you ever have a defected product, if it comes broken or something goes wrong with it, they will replace it. I, I think they'll probably refund your money if you don't want it replaced, but um, they just seem to be really good about their customer service. So um, some people were having issues where it would arrive where the lid was already like kind of open or popped off and so it was dried out. Mine was not, mine was still sealed. So fingers crossed we have no problems um but th what they were saying i watched the video that they posted last night and they were saying that it's almost like in the manufacturing process it just kind of ends up with a film over the top of it by the end of it and you kind of have to just like lightly break through it um so they 
went ahead and added some notes to their website. So I'll just kind of read you at least the beginning part of it. Um, it says to activate the liner, there's a thin protective film on top of the gel liner that may make it appear dry. You will not be able to use the liner until you dissolve the film. Simply take your quill brush and gently roll it around the ink pot, starting with the edge of the jar, working your way into the middle. This will dissolve the protective film and activate the ink black matte gel liner. So let's try that out. Let me zoom you in and we'll try it out and then I'll hopefully get to put some on my eyes. Okay. So let me put it right here and we'll see what happens. Hopefully I'm not blocking it. Okay. Let me see. Look, I can see it moving, so that's good. All right, so let me finish going around it. I see I have successful liner. All right, let's do a quick swatch on my hand just to see what it comes off like. So let's see here. It's pretty good. Let me see what happens. I'm just playing around at this point. I'm going to be just a little lighter and more precise. So yeah, I mean, you can vary your line thicknesses, which is good to know. I'm personally more of a liquid liner person. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Look at this. I'm trying to get it off with my makeup wipe. <laughs> it's clinging on there which is a good sign. I don't know about you, but my eyes love to water. And it's like, you know, if you don't have the right kind of liquid liner on and your eyes start watering, next thing you know, you've got a wing dripping down your face. So not pretty. All right, look, took some scrubbing, but I got it off. Get my mirror out. That way I can try to do this without going out of frame and blocking everything. Okay. My desk is a mess. I need to clean it. All right. So let's see how successfully I can do some liner. Start with the side because it'll be easier for you guys to see. So I'm going to start with my usual dashing method. Yeah, it definitely works a lot better if you can drag it. I mean, I'm just so used to my liquid liner just being able to kind of like dot, dot, dot. So, you know, for me, this is just kind of a new experience. for the hard part. So I mean, like I mentioned, I don't usually use gel liners. I pretty much always use liquid liners and I've actually been holding off on buying any gel liners just because I was, I knew I was going to buy this one. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm just not as used to working with it, but I feel like I'm making it work. And it does give a very nice matte black line. All right. Hoping eye number two will be a little easier. I shall find out. For this one, I'm gonna try to see if I can just look in this mirror right here in front of me. It might just be easier than trying to hold and juggle under the mirror, so hopefully I won't block you guys. work 
a lot better just kind of closing my eyes and then I could really drag it. So now let me see if I can kind of make it a little prettier. This is just me at this point because I suck at making twin liner. I feel like that meme where like you start with a really pretty wing liner and then this one gets bigger and so you make this one bigger and next thing you know your whole eye is black liner. That's kind of how I feel right now because I'm about to go try to make the other side match. Wish me luck. I'm hoping I can just make it slightly bolder and then that be the end of it. Okay, so that's as much as I'm going to do for now. Perhaps next time I will try a smaller wing because, yeah, one gets bigger, the other one gets bigger, and next thing you know I've got wings going off of the side of my head. So um, I'm just taking my makeup wipe and cleaning the brush off. That was one thing they also said was very important. Um, you don't have to like full on clean it every time, but it is at least a good idea to um, take a makeup wipe or something and clean the brush off otherwise it'll get you know just kind of gunked up and it can harden on the brush so and I made sure I screwed the cap back on really well to the liner so let me just curl my lashes and put on some mascara just to finalize everything okay guys so this is it I basically just used my um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise to do some thick thick coated lashes I didn't want to do fake lashes just because I figured the liner is supposed to kind of be the star of the show here, and sometimes I feel like lashes can cover it up. Plus, I'm not going anywhere right now, so I really didn't feel like putting fake lashes on. So, um, yeah, let's see my final thoughts. <laughs> um, okay, packaging-wise, I'm in love with this. I, I'm Like I said, I'm probably going to just stick it right there on the corner of my desk so that you can always see it, and I think it's just super cute. Um, Am I going to reach for this all the time with every single one of my looks? Probably not. I mean, I personally just feel like liquid liner is a lot easier for me to use, but I will say I always go to liquid liner because I find it so easy for me to use. And I do feel like I need to kind of challenge myself to um, like new things. I mean, I used to not like fake lashes just because I hated putting them on and I still don't always like putting them on, but I love the look it gives. So I think if anything, I will still continue to use this product. Um, probably not all the time, but I'll try to use it, um, you know, every now and then with certain looks, like you know, every, every, you know, four or five looks, I'll try to use it or something. More than anything, I just need to get, get more used to using um, a gel liner. Cause like I said, I just, I'm really, not used to it. A pen has always been super convenient for me and so I've never just bought a gel liner and a brush. You know, I'm lazy. I don't want to have to use two things. But now that I have this, um, I want to make an effort to use it more. And you know, like I said, I, I, I feel like other people probably wouldn't have struggled as much as I did. I just, you know, like I said, with the shape of my eyes, I always struggle to get good winged liner because depending on how thick I end up making my wing, it gets the weird hooded eye check mark thing, which I mean, they're kind of already curved up, but you know, whatever. I think this might be better and easier just to do more of a simple liner with a small wing and maybe I'll try that next. Um, maybe I'll try to use it again next week and just play around with it and just do a look with it and see how it comes out. I am happy with the way this came out. I love kind of the thick matte black line. It turned out I just struggled to get a nice point at the end. Um, and I don't know if that's in part due to the brush because like right now it looks nice and pointed. But as you use it more, it starts to just, you know, get a nice flat, which is great for when you're going across. But when I want that point, and I can go like this beforehand and get some liner on the tip of it, but the second I start touching it to my skin, 
and starts flattening out. So, you know, I don't know if that's just a design flaw with the brush that's a little too um, soft and it flattens too easily, or if it's just a personal flaw from not just, you know, being as used to doing gel liner. But um, overall, I'm happy that I bought this product. I've, I've pretty much bought most everything that they've come out with so far, and I'm gonna continue to buy five, and I'm going to continue buying from Storybook Cosmetics just because if anything, I love the package. I think they're so creative. I love what they're trying to do um, with the kind of more whimsical fantasy type of style of stuff. Um, and I think that they make really great product. And for it being an indie brand, I think they're knocking some awesome stuff out. Um, so yeah, <laughs> if you purchased the liner, let me know below what you think. Did you find it was easy to work with? Um, you know, do you have any tips or tricks? I mean, I was very happy that I was able to get the liner to work because I know some people their was dried out or they didn't get the instructions because I think they only just posted the instructions yesterday about um, activating it. I was happy that I was able to get that, but you know, maybe I just need to play around with it a little bit more to get it working a bit more and maybe then I'd get a little bit more coming off and a smoother line. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, in the end, I got some nice wings out of it. I just feel like I had to work a lot harder than I do with a gel, I mean, with a uh, liquid liner. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, yeah, let me know what you'd love to see up in the future. Um, I've got a couple of palettes on the way, so I'll definitely film some looks with that when I get them. I, I've got the peach collection coming. I've got some of the I Want Candy collection coming, and I did manage to get some of the Marvel Face Shop, um, the Korean brand. I got some of that product too. So I'll be filming some of those coming up in the future. But if you have any other ideas or things that you'd like to see, then just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.